you can pick this game up for free on Steam. Uh, and just a quick description about the game. A thousand years ago, it stopped raining, and all Earth's water evaporated into the clouds. For over a hundred years, people have been building towers to attempt to reach the clouds, so they can get the water they need to survive. And for over a hundred years, they failed. It's been a long time, but you're not done building yet. arrived. I had best get my water before going to work. Stan, diary, page 1489. I may need to get to the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Bernie the Great and Terrible, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Bernie the Great and Terrible. Joey Diary, page 420. I've been building all day long, and Bernie, the great and terrible, has been sitting on his butt acting as foreman, aka he doesn't do any work, and drinks all our water. I started locking our water chest just in case he really does think he's above us all. Edna Diary, page 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming.
It's been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Kyle Diary, page 45. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they stole in the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from our neighboring towers. Bertha Diary, page 9825. Dear Diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now, after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we've just started rationing our supplies more, but I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. Kyle Diary, page 46. I tried to be reasonable. I tried to talk with them. But those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin, while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. A dang diary, page one. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water running out of building supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day, he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it will be his fault. Joey Diary, page 556. Yesterday, Hodang fell off the tower. I don't know how it happened, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon since we've almost emptied out the other chests. Kyle 
Carl Diary, page 57. I just can't get over it. The dang gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week, I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, and I can tell Hadang loves it. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and we were told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked up to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. The son of Zilkar. Dewey Diary, page 490. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the great ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zokar. This place really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we'd spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds, hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. <laughs>